welcome to the secret garden of survival, this is the secret greenhouse of survival. This is our uh, year-round insulated greenhouse. And uh, as you can see, my wife has, uh, it's got to be if you stretched out these limbs, because she's got them all hung up, probably at least uh, 10 feet long, this uh, tomato tree right here. I mean, tomato, it looks more like a tree. Tomato plant right here, so uh, these are um, some tomatoes that she's got going on. And uh, I'll give you a look at the rest of the greenhouse. But before we do that, I want to show you this uh, this yellow paper right there, which is essentially some yellow construction paper. And uh, my wife put Vaseline on that, and that um, will attract and catch those little white flies that uh, tend to uh, hang around tomato plants and if you get tomato plants and you shake the leaves then these little white flies go everywhere so um, that'll catch those and that's as simple as that in terms of uh, getting the those bugs off of these plants so um, you can see some of these leaves need to be trimmed a little bit but uh, there are tomatoes all over this and this is just literally uh, coming out of the bed of our little planters here in the greenhouse so got a lot of other stuff growing on here and uh, we've got a number of things my wife saves these uh, saves these old pots and then uh, replants stuff in those so she's got a mark that cilantro and we've got uh, sweet basil over here and that's a, an Okinawa spinach the green stuff with a purple underneath and we get some peppers over here and some cucumbers and then uh, a whole bunch of um, those are baby coffee trees that came off of our coffee tree and uh, we've got some flowers just starting to sprout out here on this lemon and then above and beyond that we've got a coffee tree our original coffee tree with all kinds of coffee cherries on it and those coffee cherries are actually uh, what the bean comes in and the bean is the seed inside of that and those coffee cherries are sweet um, but they do have a kick because they have caffeine in them too and uh, so we've got that growing here in the greenhouse um, it is absolutely huge and then we've got some more coffee trees growing here and uh, a number of different herbs there's an avocado right here and we've got some asparagus growing right there that spindly looking stuff and um, I think all of the herbs that we have in the garden we've got at least a, a sample of them in here so that we can make sure that we've always got uh, got that stuff going on and, and growing and uh, these are avocados that uh, have sprouted right there and here is a avocado that is just starting to sprout and um, they split in half like that and the, uh, they start to develop roots underneath and they um, develop the stem and flowers or leaves right there. So we've already got uh, some avocados growing and here my wife has got that's a coffee cherry right there and some more coffee cherries right there uh, in this dirt and they'll take and they'll grow some more avocados right there and then we've got uh, some rosemary uh, I think that's uh, peppermint and this is a this is a chocolate mint right here it actually smells like chocolate and then um, we've got some more rosemary here and you can see uh, we've got parsley growing in there we've got uh, aloe growing there and uh, this is mustard 
And we'll move back to, uh, this is starting to go to seed here, but this is, um, what is this? Uh, I think that is a broccoli plant or something like that, or maybe it's Brussels sprouts. Um, and then back over, if I look back toward that window, we've also got another very, very tall tomato going up there with that little yellow sheet that has um, Vaseline on it. So, um, that's a very, very quick tour of the greenhouse in terms of what we've got going on right now. And then uh, these plants, like the squash over here, uh, pretty soon they will go out and we will plant them uh, in the garden itself. And uh, what do we got here? That's a cabbage right there. So all of this, and then there's some sweet potato right there. Um, all of this is grown in our greenhouse year round. Um, we harvest some of it and uh, save some of it for spring and um, things like the coffee tree stay in here all the time. Uh, but we've got uh, tomato plants that these guys aren't going out. They're staying in here and you can see they're already 10 feet in length and they'll get even bigger. And uh, they won't have a three month life cycle. They'll actually be able to last for a year or more and we've had tomato plants that have actually lasted three years and still producing tomatoes so that is tomato is actually uh, in the right environment a tropical environment for example um, it'll be a perennial as opposed to an annual